Welcome back guys, in this video I'll be showing you how to get PureDux FSR 3 frame generation mod working in Fallout 4 next generation version. Now the thing is PureDux mod is not compatible with the next generation version of this game. So I'll be downgrading the game to an older version. At the time of recording this video, the latest version of Fallout 4 is 1.10.984. I'll be downgrading it to version 1.10.163. We'll be using an application called Simple Fallout 4 Downgrader. You need to subscribe to PureDux Patreon in order to gain access to their Discord server where the mod files are present. Their monthly subscription costs around 5 US dollars. They have provided the installation instructions for the mod on their Patreon page. I'll quickly go through them. First step, install the mod like any other FOSC plugin. You can use either Mod Organizer 2 or Vortex. I'll be using the former. No full screen mode need to set B full screen to 0 and B borderless to 1 in fallout4prefs.infl. Then we need to use high FPS physics fix mod in order to prevent the game from running in a fast forward manner when the FPS is higher than 60. We also need to tweak a few settings in high FPS physics fix.infl. Need to set full screen to false, borderless to true and borderless upscale to false. It's recommended to cap the game's FPS to half of our display's maximum refresh rate minus 1. For example, my display supports up to 240Hz refresh rate, so I'll cap the game's FPS to 120 minus 1, that is 119. You can do this using high FPS physics mod or ENB. I'll be using the former. Set depth of field from bokeh to low in the game's launcher. It's recommended to disable ENB sharpen pass and also disable depth of field effect if you can't stand the shimmering in the blurred background. I'm not using ENB. Need to install reshade, then extract the modified reshade DLL file to the games folder where the games exe file is present. Turn on vsync for fallout4.exe file in NVIDIA control panel or AMD's adrenaline software. I'll show you the process for the former. My PC has an RTX 2070 Super GPU and a Ryzen 5700X 3D processor. In order to access the mod menu, just need to press the end keyboard key. If you run the mod for the first time, you'll see an authenticate button. You need to go through the authentication process. Just click on the authenticate button. It will open a browser window. Make sure you're signed into your Patreon account. Your permission will be required. Give the permission, then return to the game. Press the end keyboard key again. You'll be able to access the mod setting. Other important things. Press N to open the in-game menu for tweaking, sharpness and LOD bias. You can't change upscaler type and quality level in-game. You can only change it in the INF file and restart the game. Now I'll be downloading all of the files required to get PureDux mod working. First we have the mod itself. Just head to PureDux Discord server. Click on F04 beta access under downloads. Scroll down to the end. From here download PureDux mod by clicking on this link. It's FSR3 build 01. Works on any GPU whether it's from Intel, Nvidia or AMD does not matter. Also download the custom reshade archive file. From here click on the link. I've already downloaded these files. Now I'll be downloading high FPS physics mod from Nexus Mods website. Need to have a free Nexus Mods account in order to download any stuff from here. Just click on files. You need to download an older version of this mod version 0.8.6. Do not download the latest version of the mod that is version 0.8.10. Just click on manual download under the older version of the mod 0.8.6. Download. Click on slow download. Next we have simple fallout 4 downgrader. You can download this mod from Nexus Mods website. Just click on files here. Download the latest version of the mod version 0.3. It's for this version of fallout 4 1.10.984. Just click on manual download. Click on download. Click on slow download. Next we have address library for FOSE plugins. Just click on files here, Nexus Mods website. Download the latest version, address library all in one. Click on manual download. Click on slow download. Next we have backported archive to support system. You can download this from Nexus Mods website. Click on files here. Download the latest version, manual download. Download. Slow download. We'll be downloading Mod Organizer 2 from Nexus Mods website. Just click on Files here. Click on Manual Download under the latest version of Mod Organizer 2. Slow download. Then we have Reshade. 
this is its website i'll give its link in the description just click on download here download reshade version 6.1.1 last but not least we have followed for script extender don't download the latest version of it you need to download an older version this version 0.6.23 just click on 7z archive I own the Steam version of Fallout 4. Before installing the mod, we need to set the game setting. Select the game in your library. Right click, go to manage, then click on browse local files. This is the games install directory. You can see there's the games exe file. And just execute it, fallout4.exe. Games launcher will pop up. Click on options and just use the ultra preset. Full HD resolution. Click on advance, disable motion blur, depth of field, and just set it to standard low. OK. Exit. Now just open Fallout 4 folder. Open Fallout 4 prefs.ini folder. Open Fallout 4 prefs.ini file. You can use any text editor, I use notepad. Just click on edit then click on find and just type B full and hit enter. This line of text will be highlighted. Just make sure B full space screen is set to 0 and B borderless is set to 1. Click on file, click on save, close. I'll be enabling vSync from NVIDIA control panel. My display supports VRR so I'll also enable G-Sync compatibility. Just click on manage 3D settings, program settings. Click on add and add the games exe file. I've already done this. Scroll down to the end. From here, enable vSync. This is to prevent screen tearing. Now just click on setup gsync. Make sure these settings are enabled. Enable gsync, gsync compatible. Enable for window and full screen mode. Enable settings for the selected display model. You may be required to click on apply here. Just do that. Close. These are all of the files that I just downloaded. So first I'll be installing FOSE. Open its archive file. There it is. Open the folder inside the archive file. Copy all of the files and folders present in this archive file except for SRC folder. Just need to paste them in the games install directory. This is the games install directory where the games exe file is present. Paste. There you go, FOSC has been installed. Now I'll be installing mod organizer to execute its exe file. I accept. Next. Install directory. Default. Next. Again, default settings. Everything checked. Next 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 install launch mod organizer click on finish check the box this window will pop up creating a new instance next create a portable instance select fallout 4 default setting next directory next not connecting my nexus mods account entirely up to you next finish show the tutorial no, up to you, do nothing. Okay, now I'll be installing pure darks mod. You can see F4SE has been detected automatically. Just click on the second icon here, install a new mod from an archive. Navigate to the directory where pure darks mod is present. In my case, it's the downloads directory. F4 folder, there's pure darks mod. Build 01, double click. OK. The mod has been installed. Just check the box corresponding to it. This will activate the mod. You can see active mods 1. You need to install a few more mods. Same process. Click on the second icon here. This time I'll be installing address library all in one mod. Select the mods archive file. OK. Mod installed. Again check the box corresponding to it. Active mods 2. Now I'll install another mod. Same process, click on the second icon. Look for backported BA2 support archive file placed in the same directory. Double click, 
ओके मॉड इंस्टॉल चेक द बॉक्स कॉरेस्पॉन्डिंग टू इट एक्टिव मॉड्स थ्री ना आई शो यू हाउ टू चेंज द मॉड्स अप स्केल अप एंड द अप स्केल एस प्री सेट जस्ट सिलेक्ट फॉल आउट राइट लेक दैन क्लिक ऑन ओपन इन एक्सप्लोर ओपन एफ ओ एस सी फोल्डर ओपन प्लग इन्स फोल्डर ओपन फॉल आउट फॉर अप स्केल डॉट आई एन आई फाइल द मॉड सपोर्ट डी एल एस एस एक्स सी एस एस एंड एफ एस आर थ्री अप स्केल आई एव एन आर टी एक्सप्रेस जी पी सो आई एम यूजिंग डी एल एस एस ना इफ यू वॉन्ट टू स्विच टू एफ एस आर थ्री अप स्केल जस्ट सेट एम अप स्केल टाइप टू थ्री बाई डिफॉल्ट इट वॉज सेट टू जीरो विच कॉरेस्पॉन्ड्स टू डी एल एस एस एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू स्विच टू एक्स सी एस एस जस्ट सेट द वैल्यू टू टू फ्रॉम जीरो लाइक दिस आई एल जस्ट टेक टू डी एल एस एस अब स्केल एस प्री सेट कैन बी चेंज फ्रॉम है बाई डिफॉल्ट क्वालिटी प्री सेट इज यूज वैल्यू इज सेट टू टू आई एल जस्ट यूज द अल्ट्रा क्वालिटी प्री सेट सो आई एल चेंज द वैल्यू फ्रॉम टू टू फोर क्लिक ऑन फाइल क्लिक ऑन सेव दैट सेट ना आई एल बी इंस्टॉलिंग हाई एफ पी एस फिजिक्स मॉड ओपन द मॉड्स आ का फाइल जस्ट कॉपी डेटा फोल्डर वी नीड टू पेस्ट इट इन द गेम्स इंस्टॉल डायरेक्टरी विद द गेम्स एक्स सी फाइल इज प्रेजेंट अ डेटा फोल्डर इज ऑलरेडी प्रेजेंट इन दिस डायरेक्टरी पेस्ट ना जस्ट ओपन द डेटा फोल्डर ओपन एफ ओ एस सी फोल्डर ओपन प्लग इन्स फोल्डर हेयर यूल फाइंड दिस आई एन आई फाइल हाई एफ पी एस फेज एक्स फिक्स ओपन इट नीड टू टू इक अ फ्यू सेटिंग्स फ्रॉम हेयर सेट द एफ पी एस कैप एज वेल स्क्रॉल डाउन अब इट यूल फाइंड दिस लाइन ऑफ टेक्स इन गेम एफ पी एस बाई डिफॉल्ट इट इज सेट टू जीरो पॉइंट जीरो आई एल जस्ट सेट इट टू वन हंड्रेड एंड नाइनटीन हाफ ऑफ माई डिसप्लेस मैक्सिमम रिफ्रेश रेट माइनस वन Scroll down until you find this line of text. Full screen equal to false. Just need to remove the hash at the start of this line. Need to remove the hash at the start of this line as well. Borderless equal to true. Make sure borderless upscale is set to false. No hash at the start. Click on file. Click on save. That's it. Now I'll be installing Reshade. Just execute its exe file. Look for Fallout 4. Just click on search here. Type Fallout. There is the game's exe file. Double click. Next, select the second option, DirectX version 10, 11, 12. 12. Next, stick with the default effects. Next, process complete. Finish. Now open the custom reshared archive file. copy dxgi dot tll file just need to paste this in the games install directory with the games exe file is present right here overwrite now we need to downgrade the games version to an older version just open simple fallout for downgrader archive file open this folder fallout for downgrader copy all of the files present in this archive file Paste them in the games install directory. Right here, games exe file should be present here. Now we need to execute this exe file. F O four downgrader. Double click. This prompt will pop up. Just click on more info. Then click on run anyway. It's not a virus. You can scan it using virus scanner. Yeah, patching successful. You may close the patcher now. That's it. Close the window. Now, if you run the game at this moment, the menu will be completely empty. I'll show you how to fix this bug. We'll be using archive invalidation. Just copy these lines. Go to this directory, Documents, My Games. Hey, look for Fallout 4 folder. There it is. Open Fallout 4 custom dot ini file. Just paste the archive invalidation files here. At the end, like this. Click on file. Click on save. Close the file. We are ready to run the game. Do not launch the game from Steam. Just use Mod Organizer 2. 
make sure all of the mods are active and just click on run FOS is selected wait for the game to launch now if your mouse gets stuck at the center part of the display just press the alt tab keys until you reach the games window there it is we are in and you can see games menu is ended properly now in order to open reshades menu just press the home keyboard key yeah it's working i'll disable reshades fps counter just click on settings here uncheck show fps setting there you go close the menu by pressing the home keyboard key again now i'll open pure dark smart menu and just press the n keyboard key you can see dlss upscaler selected it's preset ultra quality make sure these two settings are checked enable frame generation and enable hard fix okay i'll disable frame generation for the timing show you its effect close the menu by pressing the end keyboard key again this is my current location standing nearby boston's public library this area is prone to fps drops frame pacing issues okay here our fps is around 119 we kept the fps at this value using high fps physics mode game is not running in a fast forward manner so that mode is working getting a very variable fps okay now i'll enable pure dark mode just pause the game first press the end keyboard key enable frame generation okay fps increased to around 230 can observe that in amount of smoothness mod is definitely working game hud is not flickering i'll just zoom in the camera a bit i'll move the camera around quickly you can observe some frame generation related artifacts around the left edge of the display see common frame generation related artifact it's even present in games that officially support frame generation and just play the game in first person mode not observing any graphical artifacts now crosshair is not flickering switch on my flashlight Let's explore the area So this is how you get Pure Dark Mod working in Fallout 4 if you have the latest version of the game, next generation version. I really hope Bethesda does not update this game. I can hear a helicopter. I'm looking for some mutants. Go this way. mongrel gunshots in the background found some mutants clear the area so that's it for the video guys i hope you find it useful thanks for watching and have a nice day